today we are talking to Steve Tucker. We're out in uh, the middle of nowhere in Nebraska on his uh, farm. And um, how are you doing? So far, so good. Yeah, so you're on Twitter. You're a farmer on Twitter. On Twitter, in fact, uh, right here, this is my avenue to the world. So what's your Twitter uh, username? Tikerman1. Okay. Um, are there a lot of uh, farmers on Twitter, do you know? Or are you kind of unique? Or is it, are, is it kind of growing or that's, what? Growing. No, that's good. It is growing. There's <laughs> not very many. I know uh, just lately there's starting to be a lot more that are uh, starting to, to see the value that you can get in a Twitter account. Yeah. So how long have you been on Twitter yourself? You know, I, that's a good question. Probably a couple years, I would okay. think. Um, I got on and didn't really do a whole lot with it because it was kind of new. There wasn't anything out there that was interesting, but it's, it's kind of taken off and grown ever since then. And yeah. Done a lot more with it and it just continues to grow. So uh, when you first started on Twitter, were you, because a lot of the, the tweets you send out are about, you know, you're on the job, you're out in the field doing stuff, farming. Uh -huh. um, has that been kind of the majority of what you tweet about or from the beginning? Pretty much or, uh, you know, followers you kind of get inspired by some of the things that they say and uh, it just whatever pops in my head you just never know what because I live a pretty uh, isolated shallow life out here in the middle of nowhere so it's isolated I'll give you that yes and uh, I'm just surprised that you found it but uh, yeah it took it took a little work but I found the place <laughs> but it's nice to know that I can be found now yeah but uh, just uh, various things that that pop in that you can do a hundred things with put out there and whatever's interesting I, I just like being a part of the conversation with people right kind yeah. of uh, takes the monotony out of the job there's a little uh, joy in people's lives and makes it interesting yeah and uh, not too long ago you uh, were featured on CNN on their website yeah. they ran an article uh, talking about you how did that happen uh, I'm still not a hundred percent sure but uh, one of the guys that follows me in the ag community uh, actually was contacted by the CNN writer and he said hey maybe you ought to check out one of the farmers that's out there that uh, actually tweets from a tractor and he contacted me we did a hour interview over the phone as I was driving and uh, took it from there yeah so have you um, did you notice a bit of a bump in uh, interest in what you're doing since that article or your followers uh, gone up since then when it started I had 400 followers and roughly, and then uh, the next, over the next seven days, it went to over 1,800. So right. that pretty much put me on the map, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so kind of what they were saying in the article, you were talking about um, how doing this is kind of a way to connect um, urban people to what's going on in rural America and, mm -hmm. and get them more connected with the farms um, and kind of see what's going on instead of, you know the uh, kind of the old notion of the small farm and and, and that kind of thing. How it's it's changed, right? Um, and kind of showing people what it's all about. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of the people that have contacted me have uh, every day. The new people that come in, uh, there's always a comment that we appreciate what the farmers are doing. We know how hard they work, and uh, you know that is a great um, just just people are getting more aware of what actually goes on out here in the middle of nowhere and, yeah you know where your food comes from yeah definitely so speaking of food what kind of food do you grow out here uh well it just you know a lot of decisions are made based on the weather and, uh, and geographical location now this area right here in southwest nebraska uh you know nebraska is known for corn so corn's kind of a, a main crop the main crop in this area is uh wheat winter wheat and in fact we're in the middle of harvest which, uh, I saw just, some of that on my way out. It's just a little wet at the moment right here, but uh -huh. uh, there's a, a, we're, st we're right in the middle of it. And then, um, let's see, we also have uh, millet, which is uh, bird seed for people that have been asking me about that. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of planting that right now, too. I figured I could do two things at once. Okay, we're in uh, Steve's office. This is um, it. So, Steve, show me some of your gadgets. What do you got? Well, the first thing is the iPod with the FM modulator that actually... Uh, keeps me entertained uh, the GPS unit which I have a older model I've had this for a few years part of the caterpillar tractor but I've added this on is an outback guidance system 
and it's GPS. It's got a beacon on top. And uh, basically, I can go through, set a point through the field from one to the other, and then it marks a straight line, and then it just follows it back and forth. Now I got a monitor here with a little screen on it that actually tells me where I'm going. And then it's got a box that actually controls the tractor, so I can sit here and do all kinds of various other things. So, so you're free to tweet while it's Free to tweet. Dry. That's yeah. exactly what I do. <laughs> this is where it all happens, right here. Awesome. So getting back to uh, Twitter and social media, um, since you've got bandwidth out here a little bit. A little bit. A little are bit. you uh, looking at uh, expanding your uh, presence online? Maybe doing some some streaming or you know, ever some since other stuff like that? Or? I, I am. Ever since that came out, I was thinking about maybe doing a... Uh, Maybe a live Ustream show. Yeah. But I'm going to need uh, Mr. Obama to get that stimulus money out here a little faster. I don't know if the bandwidth is so slow that the money's taking, <laughs> you know, going through the bandwidth to get here, but uh, it's going to take some more bandwidth to actually put that up yeah. online. You know, just to get Skype to work is a miracle. I don't know how that even works. But, right. Uh, so I thought maybe doing something like that that would uh, give people a, a chance to ask questions and also uh, maybe just a chance for them to look at things that go on out on a farm in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's amazing that I can be out here in the middle of nowhere and everybody can still experience what life is like out here. Yeah, exactly. So I guess we'll have to just stay tuned and see uh, what's next. That's Steve. right. That's right. And uh, I'm thinking maybe sometime here in the next few weeks, I, what I want to do is maybe just get some video put up, kind of like what you're doing on this road yeah. trip and uh, put that up and just let people do that. And I'm sure that will spark all kinds of questions too. Yeah, definitely. Well, hey, Steve, uh, thanks for having me out to your field. Hey, well, thanks for coming. Appreciate Anytime. it. I'm just amazed that you even found it out here. I did. Thank you. You bet.